for some matches, huh? We're here for a show. We're going to give you a show. Let's start the Shmona. Questions are going to be asked to the field. Questions come from different categories of movie trivia. Eight questions. They are each worth one point. Mulan Woo! Jack Bauer, 24. The following question comes to you from Jeremy Hasty. Jeremy Hasty. Each competitor is going to get a spin at the wheel. Movie release is... Wow. The answer is remember the title. Captain Niet. No. Sam Whitworth has been eliminated. It's Eliza Dushku. Two points steal for Ross. Isaac Sark. And Ruby Gordon. Trains and automobiles. Good guess, but no. Your winner, Mario Bugatti, has cleared the table. Champion of the world once again. Schmodown, as we know, we got a little bit of a WWE flavor to it. It's my turn. Your season is done. Your career is done. Whether they're friends or they're enemies, gonna have to miss me, dog. Ken, do you think your mom works here? Someone's gonna come clean up after you? Leaving coffee stains He's all over the place. He's a disgusting human, isn't he? Just well, a disgusting eh, that might be a little extreme, no, but I know, uh, he's disgusting. a little, little, I mean, He's you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, How are you? I'm just great, Christian. How are That's you? Good. Um, so I noticed that you've been a little, uh, a little stressed out with, uh, with, with Sam. Well, I mean, mostly what's going on is that I have been doing my job. I've been putting my heart and yep. soul into the schmodown and, and trying to elevate this league to the greatest well, it's ever been. Well, very well, by the way. Thank you. Um, and Sam mostly just showed up to have lunch, mm. and then he would disappear. I think he's over across the street having cocktails right now, probably, at uh, Wood Ranch. Yeah. But, uh, you think he's being spiteful? A little bit, a little bit. Well, to be fair, you're throwing your weight around just a tad. That's very true. I, I, I was simply fighting fire with fire, which was maybe not the best choice. I, I see now, but you know, it was a, it was a gut reaction, and I, I did it, well, and I stand by it. I know all about gut reactions, and I, and I think that the fact, it is your right to say, like, hey, Sam says to you, you're going to be in a singles match, right. you lose that match, and you put Chance in a, in a fatal four-way, mm -hmm. and now we know that in that fatal four-way. Is going to be Chance. Obviously. Right. I'm bringing back Keaton, Marky, because I Mark. she's wonderful, yep. and I think that she hasn't necessarily had the chance to shine in right. the Intergeekdom <laughs> League, and I know she could be a great competitor. Uh, we've got a new competitor, two new, two rookies, two actually. Ones, okay. Yes, so we've got Chandru, got who's hung around the studio a little bit. He's really excited to uh, get himself in the ring. And uh, Brandon Hanna, the... Uh, the return of old uh, Boss Baby, now the Hitman. Now the Hitman. Okay. Is uh, trying to make a name for himself on his own. Well, look at that. Okay. Well, that's good, and that's one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about because, even though I think that's a great match, and even though I think that both you and Sam are kind of throwing your weight around, I think you might be getting out of control. Just, just read comments. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't do that. That's fair. I've been told not to do that before. Um, so, we got a manager bowl coming up. Yes, I with. made my managerial debut in the manager bowl. Winning the manager bowl <laughs> and the commissioner bowl. I did, yeah. yeah. You did, absolutely. I remember that one. Um, so, you won that. You know that how important that could be. So, we're going to make a little switch for the manager bowl for collision. How about this? Oh, okay. Okay. So, how about for the collision, we have four, five, let's do five competitors. Five competitors going at it. I mean, we have a lot of factions in the league these days. I would love to see five managers. No, no, do no, that. no, 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 no. Five competitors, not managers. Five competitors. Before you get confused, representing each manager. Okay. They can choose who. Okay, so like people from those factions. Somewhat. I don't hate it. I just don't really see what the a manager. Point. Well, this is the thing. This is what I love about this. I get too stressed at these things. People screaming and yelling, they're cheering, and they're gonna, they always yell at me. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm done being yelled at and being, I don't wanna be anyone's boss right now. I'm just, I'm, I do things like this sometimes. So, for one month, that manager, whoever's player wins, get this and you're gonna love this, will be you and Sam's boss for a month. 
Okay. All right. I mean, I, I, I'm all for someone stepping in that's going to encourage Sam to continue on his trend of and you of trying and you and me and you and me look at yes. this perfect so we're gonna find out who it's gonna be will it be jay washington he'll pick who he wants will it be tom dagnino that's something that certainly is will it be robert meyer burnett god help us all yeah thank you. um we can have corruption have anyone that they want we know how you feel about grace and finally kaiser any one of those managers, and why isn't Roxy in it? Well, she has two of the champions playing anymore. She doesn't have any Wilson or Faction, so tough luck, Roxy. So that's it. That's my deal. That's my decision. Good luck to you. I cannot believe I am rooting for Tom Dagnino. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown alongside Webby Award nominee Roxy Stryer. Oh I am four-time rec league basketball champion Mark Baby Caradellis. Roxy, <laughs> thank you for joining us here for this incredible matchup of two impressive rookies who had big debuts and now they're looking to make a real name. One of them is going to go to 2-0 today. These are my favorite kind of matches. I love a good rookie. It's I a, love good, a good, good rookie, rookie match because you had Liz Shannon Miller, uh, who made a big debut, Lightning did, uh, defeating my buddy Demi. And then you have Whitney Seibold was coming in against Diamond Dave. Looked like he had all the right moves. And then Diamond Dave stopped him in his tracks. So like I said, each competitor right now, Roxy, 1-0. and As somebody who has made their way in the managerial position at the movie Trivia Schmodown. Well, thank you so much, sir. Too much fanfare and a little bit of controversy. What do you as a manager look for in a potential competitor? What would you want to see from either Lightning or Diamond today? I think it's important now that you look to see which of the leagues they can play in. You want to make sure that they aren't just a one league kind of person. So I want to see how they work by themselves, what their geek knowledge is, and also just how they play along with others. Also, I want to make sure they can stand up for themselves, that they're knowing the game and that they make the right calls. It's not just about the knowledge, but knowing what the full circle looks like. I just like saying Lime, <laughs> Lightning and Dave. Diamond Dave, it's th these are good nicknames. Oh, they're amazing. Let's take a look at the pre-interview right now. Two new names to the movie trivia showdown. I don't know if he's related to Jack Del Rio, but it's David Del Rio. My second match uh, in the movie trivia showdown, the first one was uh, really successful. He wants to be considered as one of the greats, and he's off to a good start. Uh, I feel confident. I feel like I'm in a good run so far, even though it's just one match. But uh, going into this match, uh, I've uh, very much prepared and uh, am ready to go. On the other side of that, we have Liz Shannon Miller. Coming into this match, after winning my first match, it's honestly a little bit more intimidating. Like first time, I didn't know what, what to expect, and I did well, and I'm really happy about that. Second time, I'm hoping I do as well, if not better. Who knows where you go from here? Is it Diamond Dave Del Rio that she faces? Playing uh, uh, Liz Shannon Miller, you know, I am still very in intimidated because I did see her first match, and she did absolutely incredible in it. This is a match to really see that uh, who deserves to be uh, continuing on the run of the League of the Movie Trivia Showdown. So much hype about you. Like, they're saying you could be the next Ethan. When I came into this league, it came, I came in with the recommendation of Ethan Irwin, and Ethan has been a huge inspiration and a real mentor, and I'm hoping this is a chance for me to prove to Ethan that his faith in me was warranted and that I'm able to move forward on my own terms. The rookies seem to be getting better and better all the time, and this year we have seen so many newbies come and really face this challenge and then soar, so I'm excited to see what happens for both of them. Anybody would expect the answer right now, uh, that they want a belt around their shoulder to carry around. My goal right now is to just take it match by match. To play any of the greats would be just a uh, a dream come true for me. I mean, I would love a belt. Uh, belts are nice. They cost a lot of money, so it'd be great to get one for free. And also, it would be a real honor to uh, make my name in this competition. We have two new forces to be reckoned with in the singles league. Dave, we're both 1-0. We're both coming into this as equals. Uh, one of us will leave the opposite way, and I'm wishing you the best of luck. 
as I wish myself the best of luck as well. I'm going to tell you something right now. I am here to play. That is my only goal. I'm here to listen to some questions and answer the questions correctly. If anybody else wants to come at me in a way that goes beyond the game, uh, absolutely uh, bring it on. You can't bring me down. You see that, Roxy? My favorite thing is that it's Diamond and Lightning, so I feel like I'm announcing an American Gladiators matchup, which is fantastic. And doing a great job at it. But when you <laughs> see the – I mean, look, they're very respectful. These are two nice people. These are good human beings, which sometimes we don't get that in the movie trivia schmodown circle. They're very complimentary of one another's knowledge, but it also looks like they're starting to get that eye of the tiger where they see a future that could lead to a possible title match. Yeah, and a good human being doesn't mean a great trivia player, so we're going to have to see if <laughs> – that bodes well for them. It's, it's very true. I, I'm getting booze, but it's the truth. It's the truth. You, you, you can be a rotten piece of garbage and know a lot about movie trivia, but maybe, mm -hmm. just maybe, somebody nice is going to take a W here today and get to 2 and O. Oh, Roxy Stryer, let's get to the tale of the tape. What are these people good at? Absolutely. Well, Lightning Liz Shannon Miller is great at all of the decades. Just all of them. All of She's the amazing at the decades. So that's a pretty strong strength. I mean, if you're good at all of the years, all of the decades. how do you compete with that? And also sci-fi is another one of her strengths. And Diamond, another nickname that you love. Yeah. Dave Del Rio is great with Oscars and directors. So that's a heavy hitter as well. And Diamond Dave, great at fronting a kick-ass rock band. All right, here we go. Roxy Stryer, are you ready to get this going? Oh, always. Born ready. Then it is time for the movie Trivia Schmodown! <laughs> I have to say it too. I just Good have to. Good crowd it. here today. <laughs> Introducing first, Deep down with a record of and one and zero, oh, she is Go! Lightning Liz Shannon Miller. Yeah, with the colored tights again. Maybe it's the secret weapon. Liz coming out. A little bit of pregame stretching there. Trademark hat. Ready to go. You think a hat keeps all the knowledge in? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's how hats work. Oh, interesting. And her opponent. Also with a record of one and up. No it's Diamond Dave <laughs> Del Rio. Woo! And here's Diamond <laughs> Dave. Through the curtain, right over. Diamond Dave, take you see. Oh, look at that handshake. You know, it's it, it's just heightened by the fact that you two are so nice, and I know that that just makes Roxy's stomach turn. It's a little too nice. Seeing people nice. who are just so classy and respectful of one another, uh, it just it you you look like you're not enjoying no, what's going on on the stage. I'm right from now. the Howie Mandel camp of don't touch my hand before anything <laughs> we start. Just give Roxy a fist bump if you get to meet her in person. All right, so we have Liz Shannon Miller, Lightning, and we have Dave Del Rio, Diamond, up there on the desk. Here's how. The rules work in round number one. It's the first of three rounds. In this round, you're going to hear eight questions from eight different corners of the movie trivia showdown galaxy. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. As soon as we ask you a question, you have about 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at the correct answer on the whiteboard in front of you with the marker that Roxy bought at Michael's this morning. You're welcome. You guys are going to have about 15 seconds. Like I said, once we ask you by name, to give us your answer, please show what you wrote on the whiteboard to your camera at the same time you verbalize it into the microphone. I'll remind each competitor, you have three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the three-round match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want us to repeat it, or you just want to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to use at any time throughout the three rounds. Diamond Dave, do you understand the rules if I have explained them to you? Yes, sir. You ready to go? Looking forward to it. And Lightning Liz, how you feeling? Feeling good, let's do it. Let's get ready to schmo down. Yeah. I think I've done that right like five times in a row now. It, I think that you should get an award just for that. It's time to schmo down. Well, I have my basketball championships. Mm -hmm. All right, in round number one, we're gonna kick off with the category of? Animated. Ooh. Here we go, question one. Which pop music star provides the voice of a young King Arthur in Shrek the Third? I believe that's the third Shrek movie. I don't know how you got that. So it's, I, used to, get there? I used to play this game a little bit. Really good at the Schmodown. Five, four, 
Three, two, one. Pens down. We go to Diamond first. Is it Justin Timberlake? It is, in fact, Justin Timberlake. Did Liz have it? Pulled it out of my ass. Justin, Justin Timberlake. I told you that's how hats work. Just and then pick a time. Maybe that hat <laughs> is paying off like Roxy thought. <laughs> we move on to Action Adventure. Action Adventure, and your question is, who played show host Caesar Flickerman in The Hunger Games? Did you read The uh, Hunger Games books, Roxy? Does watching the movies count as reading? Uh, it, to me, it does. Then yes, all uh, of them. I was reading last night, and by that I mean watching YouTube mm -hmm. vids. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, go to Liz first. Stanley Tucci. It was, in fact, Stanley Tucci. Did Diamond have it? Stanley Tucci. He did. <laughs> Showing no signs of intimidation early, Rocks. It's two to two. Yes. Question number three in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Which actor stars as the title character in 2011's Conan the Barbarian? Uh, question for you. Do you know who played the original Conan the Barbarian? You know that I don't. Really, you don't? I know nothing. Oh, God, we got to work on this. Oh. Okay. Okay. Could you repeat uh, the question, please? What's that? Could you repeat the question, yeah, please? Yes, that's one. Which actor stars as the title character in 2011's Conan the Barbarian? So it's one JTE rule. You know, sometimes the newer compared, they forget about the JTE rule. And it's she nice knew. To see. As a manager, I look for that kind of thing. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Go to Diamond first. I put Carl Urban. It is not Carl Urban. Did Liz have it? Put Dwayne Johnson. It is not Dwayne The Rock Johnson either. We're looking for? Jason Momoa. Jason yeah. Momoa. Oh, he no I longer thought, has facial hair. Like moments after Big story. He shaved? You haven't seen this? I have not seen this. It was on CNN. Wow. Oh, and yeah. A, a he got ripple rid of it. stirs in the crowd as they find out Jason Momoa has shaved. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We go on to your next category, your uh, fourth in this, going to take the halfway point of round number one. And this is in the world of Oscars. This is a movie ceremony people used to care about. <laughs> <laughs> what film released in 2013 won Best Picture at the Academy Awards? So the ceremony was held in early 2014, honoring the movies of 2013. That always make it confusing. Yeah, I actually have been confused as well. I'd love to see somebody host that show next year. Go to is five. Could be you. Four. Three. Two, one. Pens down. We go to Liz. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. Did not have it. Hurt Locker? We're looking for 12 Years a Slave. 12 Years a Slave. And he said Oscars was a strength. So we thought Oscars was a strength for Diamond. Not that time. And all of a sudden, it is still 2-2. Two to two. Here we go with question number five in the category of horror thriller. In Misery, author Paul Sheldon writes books about a character named... Misery, what genre of book are they? Ooh, did that's a tricky this one. one. Yeah. <laughs> I did not read Misery, mm. um, but I did see the movie. So it counts. Yeah. We already established totally that. Counts. Mm -hmm. In our world, watching is as good as reading. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down, going to you, Diamond. I put mystery. Uh, that is incorrect. <laughs> Romance. Liz had it. Romance is correct. Romance novels it is. Pulling the lead. So now Liz Shannon Miller taking an early lead here, three to two, with three categories remaining in round number one. Your next category, and I'll ask the crowd to help me out with this one, is the world of comedies. <laughs> Great job, guys. That's maybe the best studio audience laugh we've ever had. Nailed ah. it. All right. Your question is, in what comedy does Michael Keaton play a character who clones himself? Would you hang out with a clone of yourself? Uh, obviously, yeah, my yeah. best friend. Would you? Nah, I'd probably be by myself. Not really. That Five, was really sad. Four. I don't like other people, including so me. Three, dark. two, one. Pens down. Go to Liz. Multiplicity. It is multiplicity. Did Diamond have it? Multiplicity. He certainly did. Okay. So Liz maintaining that one point edge over Diamond in round number one. Let's see how they do in number seven, which is in the world of rom com. Oh, I love these. Me too. What 2012 rom com stars Jason Siegel and Emily Blunt as a couple struggling to get married? Same. Struggling as a couple <laughs> struggling to get married. What's the struggle? Just don't do it. I don't understand what's First so thing, hard. You've got to get this. a guy. That's hard. Yeah. It all sounds awful. Five, mm -hmm. four, <laughs> three, 
two, one. Pens down, going to you, Diamond. Five-year engagement? It is the five-year engagement. Did Liz have it? Five-year engagement. She certainly did. They believe in love. I apologize for my handwriting. It's terrible today for some reason. Uh, I've the, seen it, worse. The, the handwriting, is, Roxy and I have seen a lot worse <laughs> in the world of handwriting. Now we come to our final question, and we're looking at a score of five to four here, Roxy. I'm very impressed so far with the competitors. They're not intimidated by the stage at all. It's, it, it's a showdown of hotshot rookies, and they both seem to be adjudicating themselves very well. Yeah, rookie game strong so far, but don't get your hopes up yet. We'll see how they do in the next round. See who suffers from the sophomore slump. Your last Jeez. question in round number <laughs> one is a Patreon question. The following question comes to you from Michael Campbell. Thank you, Michael. For supporting the Patreon. Thanks, Michael. You got to check out the movie tribute photo on Patreon if you have not already. Select which tier is right for you, and maybe one day I'll say your name on an upcoming episode. Michael wanted a category of dramas question, and he gets that right now. In Charlie Wilson's War, what Oscar winning actor portrays Maverick CIA operative Gust Avracatos? Good mm. pronunciation there. I got really nervous as. Like my eye was getting to the name. Oh, I really? was like, oh God, this is not going to go well. But it did. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Go to Lightning first. Philip Seymour Hoffman. It is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Did Diamond have Philip it? Seymour he certainly Hoffman. did. Look at the knowledge. Look at the breadth. Look at the depth, Roxy. Six to five with Lightning Liz Shannon Miller enjoying just a one point advantage over at Diamond. Dave. Dell Rio, as we now move into the wheel round, and you, as well as anybody, manager or competitor, knows the wheel round. We call it the wheel of fate, doom, and justice for a reason. You have 10 categories on that wheel, plus opponents and spinner's choice. And today's wheel actually has two slices that are sponsored by Movie Trivia Schmodown patrons, yes. and our crowd is going to love these slices because Tom Hanks is a Patreon slice and Meryl Streep is on the wheel oh, as yeah. a Patreon slice. So Meryl <laughs> Streep. The crowd it started early. loves Meryl Streep. We know she's watching at home. Hi, Meryl. Oh, hi, Meryl. Looking forward to seeing you in Big Little Lies. Now, if any competitor spins either Tom Hanks or Meryl Streep, we're going to say the name of the patron that sponsored that slice. So Dave Del Rio is your favorite here today. He's sitting in that seat. However, it is Lightning Liz Shannon Miller who has the one-point lead. So Liz, would you like to spin first or would you like to defer? to your opponent. I would like to defer to my opponent. All right, oh, Dave, it's you. all up to you. And because you are one to know, I do have to remind you, spin from the wheel, not the peg, sir. Yeah, you got to tell the rookies. You got to tell the newbies. That is, that's how you spin it's a wheel spin, right there. Though. You walk up to it, you just do it. Got to give credit where credit's yeah. due. All right, and here we oh. go, looking at action adventure. Mm. Action adventure. He seems unsure. He's looking. He's going to spin again. Spin again. Again, up, another good spin. Very savvy play by Dave because he, he <laughs> looked at the other categories. And I think that he saw enough potential in the other slices to spin again. But will it play and out? it almost is Meryl oh, Streep. So close. And the crowd almost went wild. But we have Oof. new releases. <laughs> okay. And uh, your questions in the world of new releases will be administered by Roxy Stryer. Before we get to that, I will remind each competitor that in round number two, you get four questions from each category. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. If you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. With all of that out of the way, Diamond, Roxy, the floor is yours. All right, question number one. In Widows, who plays crime boss and politician Jamal Manning. I forgot uh, his full name. Um, multiple choice, please. Is it A, Brian Tyree Henry, B, Terrence Howard, C, Daniel Kalua, D, Cuba J Gooding Jr.? A. A is correct. So one point, and Diamond pulls even with Lightning. All right, question number two. In Teen Titans Go to the Movies, what? what singer voices Tiger and sings a song, upbeat, inspirational song about life? I don't have many of those. Multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it A, Chris Isaac, B, Michael Bolton, C, Tom Jones, D, hmm. Tim McGraw? Uh, I'm going to say 
because I've seen this movie zero times, uh, C. Incorrect. incorrect. So now for the steal, uh, your options once again, is it A, Chris Isaac, B, Michael Bolton, C, Tom Jones, or D, Tim McGraw? I'm going to go with Michael Bolton. That is correct. We are Michael Big Bolton steal. fans. Big we celebrate steal. his entire catalog. For my money, I don't know if it gets better than when he sings When a Man Loves a Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You see that coming. I understand that joke. reference. It's a quote. All right. Question number three. What stand-up comedian plays a single woman that wants to adopt an athlete in instant family? Uh, multiple choice, please. Is it A, Teague Notaro, B, Eliza Schlesinger, C, Natasha Leggero, D, Maria Bamford? Is it A? Incorrect. Mm. So, uh, I'm going to go with D. Maria Bamford. Also incorrect. It's uh, a friend of yours. Yeah, looking for Eliza Lines Schlesinger. <laughs> just was just in Canada with her. We had a good time. Hey, yeah. Canada, how are you? Enjoy the stage time. Very funny mm. in that movie, by the way. Yes, she is. Question number four: What is the name of the demon who prefers to inhabit the bodies of vulnerable males in Hereditary? Oof. Again, same. Yeah, dear God. Oh, man. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Abraxas, B, Dagon, C, Samuel, D, Payman? D. That is correct. All right. So negotiating his way through a very Oof. tough slate huh? of new release questions is Diamond Dave. And so he ends up tied with Lightning Liz right now. And Liz, the floor is yours to spin. And she could really have a big advantage going into round number mm -hmm. three if she gets the right wheel slice. Tough round for a diamond. Here we go. Look at Diamond clapping for Liz. I, I love how supportive these, these two competitors are. This could be opponent's choice. That's why he was clapping. He knew. Because now Liz is on opponent's choice. Okay. So now, uh, uh, Roxy, you must love this part of the match because now they have to be at each other's throats. This Diamond so Dave bad. has to pick <laughs> the one slice that he thinks Liz is going to uh, struggle with. Why are they smiling so much, Mark? <laughs> All uh, right, Diamond, what looks let's, good? Let's go with uh, family films. Going to go with family, family films. films. All right. All right. We don't know if that's hard or easy for her. We're going to have to see. We do not. It's a category that more often than not, I just kind of breeze right by that section of my local video update. But we'll see how Liz does with it. All right, Liz, your first question of four in the world of family films, films that can be enjoyed by the entire family, should you be unfortunate enough to have one of those. What live action <laughs> animated mix family comedy stars Bill Murray as Frank and Chris Rock as the voice of a white blood cell? Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Osmosis Jones, B, The Incredible Mr. Limpet, C, Bad Company, or D, The Page Master? The Incredible Mr. Limpet. That is incorrect. For the steel, Diamond Dave, your options are, is it A, Osmosis Jones, B, The Incredible Mr. Limpet, C, Bad Company, or D, The Page Master? Osmosis Jones. It is Osmosis Jones. Woo! Big steal. That, that is a huge Dave, steal. Stealing the point back that Liz had stolen from him yeah. during his new release slate. Okay, back to you, Liz. Your next question in the world of family movies. What comedic actor played the Martian in the 1999 family film remake, My Favorite Martian? 1999. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Jeff Daniels, B, Brendan Fraser, C, Christopher Lloyd, or D, Robin Williams? C, Christopher Lloyd. We are tied, ladies and gentlemen. Eight to eight. Now they're really fighting. All right, your next question. In the world of family films, Paul Walker stars in what 1998 comedy about two surfer dudes who end up as Yellowstone Park Rangers. Going to go to multiple choice on that one. <laughs> right. Is it A, Yogi the Bear, B, Yellowstone, C, Ranger Dudes, or D, Meet the Deedles? C, Ranger Dudes. It is not Ranger Dudes for another steel diamond. Is it A, Yogi the Bear, B, Yellowstone, C, Ranger Dudes, or D, Meet the Deedles? Uh, meet the Deedles. Give the man a point and the lead. One over Miller with one question left for Lightning Liz in round number two. And your last question in the world of family films, mercifully, 
your last question. <laughs> because these are some bad movies we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but now we get a good movie. And this question is, what actor plays veteran pitcher Chet Stedman in Rookie of the Year? Mm. Nick Nolte. You said? Nick Nolte. It is not Nick Nolte. Oh, and this shoot. Could be I know who it is. Huge two-point oh, steal if Diamond Dave can conjure it. No multiple Sorry. choice. Uh, do I lose a JTE for a repeat on, uh, on this one? Or? Uh, no, I, I can give you one repeat of okay, that. It's what you. actor plays veteran pitcher Chet Stedman in Rookie of the Year? Rookie of the Year. I'm, I'm seeing two different kid baseball movies. Um, is it... Uh, is it... Five, four, three. Uh, Timothy Busfield. Timothy Busfield. There's a lot of kid baseball movies. Can I say? Out can there. I say the correct answer? Because I remember it now. Oh. Hit me. <laughs> Gary Busey. For no points For whatsoever. No points. Yes. <laughs> it is in fact <laughs> Gary <laughs> Busey. So Liz couldn't conjure within 15 now, seconds, yeah, and then Diamond know. thought it was Timothy Busfield. So then back to Liz, who gets no points, but she did get the fact What's that it was Gary Busey in an all-time classic rookie of the Angels year. I like that she still wanted to show off her knowledge, but you know sometimes it is hard when you're a rookie, you're under the lights, and you can't think of it quick enough. Unfortunately, like these two possibly competing for. Rookie of the Year themselves. As we move on to round number three, this is the round that will decide the fate of today's match. Diamond Dave enjoying a narrow one-point lead over Lightning Liz Shannon. In round number three, each competitor is going to give us a series of numbers. These numbers can range from 1 to 20. We need three numbers total from each of you. That number is going to correspond to a different movie trivia schmodown category. The first question you hear is going to be worth two points. Your next one's worth three points. The last one, should we make it that far, is going to be worth five big points. And there's no stealing in round number one. There's no penalty for missing a question in round number three. Excuse me. All right, Diamond Dave, you are in the lead by a narrow one point. So you're going to give us your three numbers first. What feels lucky? Uh, three, five, and ten. And ten. And Liz. Fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Making I like it very easy on the Mm-hmm. All right, Liz. I will be asking you your questions, sure. and you are up first. So. You chose category 15, okay. and that's your two-point question. That corresponds to the category of Westerns. Westerns. Great. And a tumbleweed rolls through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Liz, your question. Who played the character that simply went by the name Blondie in The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly? I'm going to say Clint Eastwood. And the lead. It is Clint Eastwood. And Lightning Liz has taken the lead over Diamond Dave, which means now it is Dave's two-point question turn. So you selected number three, which is scores and soundtracks. Nice. Selma Hayek dances to the song After Dark in what 90s movie? Repeat the question, please. Let's start with one JT. Selma Hayek dances to the song After Dark in what 90s movie? Uh, from Dusk Till Dawn. That is correct. All right. So Diamond Dave retaking the lead over Lightning goes back to her for her three-point question. Uh, Liz, you selected number 16. And that corresponds to the category of spy movies. Spy movies. And your question is, who directed Melissa McCarthy in Spy? Paul Feig. That is three points. Wow. And that is a two-point lead. And like a great tennis match or like a great ping-pong match, Roxy, it goes back to Diamond Dave. This is number five, which corresponds with comedy for your three-point question. <laughs> Who plays uh, farmer Jed Clampett, who becomes rich after discovering oil in 1993's The Beverly Hillbillies? This would give him the lead and force the hand of Liz to answer her five points. Go to five, four. Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> Very I mean, confidently answered, though. Incorrect. I see it. So yeah. for what was Jim the answer for? Yeah. Jim Varney played Ernest in all those great movies. Yeah. Very funny comic as well in his day. 
All right, so David, uh, we're going to stay with you, and now you're going to have to answer your five-point question, or else Lightning Liz Shannon Miller is going to come out of here with a W. Roxy, what fate befalls Diamond Dave? Okay, the five-point question for number 10 you selected corresponds with new releases. <laughs> new releases. In bad times at the El Royale, who plays Father Flynn's criminal partner and brother Felix O'Kelly? I'm going to go to five. Four. Repeat the question, please. It's the second JT rule. In bad times at the El Royale, who plays Father Flynn's criminal partner and brother Felix O'Kelly? Just to annoy you, I'm going to ask for one more uh, repeat, please. That's his last JTD okay. rule. 15 second stands between Diamond Dave and Liz Shannon Miller. In bad times at the El Royale, who plays Father Flynn's criminal partner and brother, Felix O'Kelly? <laughs> Bo Bridges. <laughs> and your winner! By a score of 13 to 11, looking for Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman played the criminal partner and brother, Felix O'Kelly. And that is how the cookie crumbles for both Diamond Dave Del Rio and Lightning Liz Shannon Miller. Liz taking the match here today. Very tough slate of questions for Diamond Dave. Uh, that is not the last we're going to see of him in singles. He knows his stuff. He's well-versed in categories. But today, it's about the winner, Lightning Liz, getting to 2-0, and Rocks. Yeah, and let me tell you, Ethan Irwin was not wrong about her. She is making her way as a rookie right now, and I'm so excited to see what she does in the future. That's right. And as she mentioned in her pregame interview, I think that this was maybe the match where you step outside of that shadow of being knighted by Ethan Irwin. And now Lightning Liz starting to make a name for herself. We're going to have an interview with both Lightning Liz and Diamond Dave right now with our own Jen Sturger. Jen, it's all yours. Oh, Dave. Oh, oh Dave. Oh, boy. <sighs> well, you're still, you're one and one, you know. You still had pretty great debut. I think just the wheels kind of fell off in round two for you when you spun away from action. And, um, yeah, that happened. That, that definitely happened. Do you regret doing that? Uh, no, actually. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, these questions are getting more and more specific. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, it's it's challenging you to really, really watch the movies this time. Oh, yeah. Who knew? Uh, and with new releases, it's not like you can rewatch and rewatch without spending boatloads of money because right. most of them are still either in theaters or yeah. just in theaters. No AMC stub card can help you there. <laughs> um, but I, but I, I will say, even if I picked action and adventure, I'm sure it would have been that specific as well. Like what car was someone driving before it exploded? That kind of thing. It's getting it's getting harder, and I'm 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 really uh, mm -hmm. after this match has gotten me. Uh, to focus a lot more for the next one. Yeah, do you think that it's going to motivate you to change the way you're preparing for these matches? Or? You know, this is only my second match, so I don't know what the preparation is yet to answer. Still that. figuring that out. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I don't I either. I just show up. What's next for you? Are you going to stick with singles? Are you thinking about, you know, going into teams? I don't know. I mean, I haven't been approached uh, yet for a teammate. I don't know how that. Free agent here, guys. Yeah, I'm free. Um, <laughs> I think I'll just uh, continue with uh, with singles uh, as long as the uh, league uh, has me. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. It. Sorry it didn't work out in your favor. Uh, go get that AMC movie stuff. I will. I will. I'm gonna go out to the movies a lot more. And uh, yeah, I'll be like, I'm here to prep. Thank you. So and for the free popcorn. And the free popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Thanks so much. All right, guys, I'm back with Liz, who is 2-0 and oh now. This must feel pretty good considering, you know, you're a rookie here and still finding your way. I mean, it feels good to a degree. I, I'm, you know, it's always the questions you get wrong you remember. It's I saw you beating yourself up the minute Nick Nolte came out of your mouth, and you were like, no! Well, I, I maintain my position that at that time in our history... They were the Nick, same person. They were the same person. So, <laughs> really, they could have... Eas either one of them could play that role. Gary Busey, uh, of course. But, like, that, move, that, that one killed me because I knew the name Chet Stedman. I love Rookie of the Year is my favorite. We all did. That was a, one of my favorite movies. So yeah, that was that one was one where I was really beating myself up. And then you, when you spun opponent's choice, obviously, what was going through your mind? I mean, essentially, I figured whatever I got, I'd do my best. Uh, 
I probably, I honestly, because that's the thing with the category is like you can think Meryl Streep is super easy, and then they can ask you what color dress she wore on the poster for Silkwood. Like, yeah. I mean, that's you it's literally have no, literally have no idea how the categories could break down. So Chris likes to keep people on their toes, and there have been some really deep pulls lately, <laughs> even just in that second round. Yeah, I mean, I I'm glad to hear that everyone thinks that I, I'm beating myself up for the ones I got wrong, of course, but I feel good about the ones I got right, and I feel like I had a great competitor. Yeah, absolutely. But you came in this league was so much hype because when Ethan Irwin backs someone like that's taking it to church you know what right. I mean like that is the gospel and it's like it, it is panning out your way that you know he looks like he was right no I mean I I'm is that I, a lot to live up to it's a ton to live up to uh, but at the same time like all I can do is my best essentially like and if I feel like the more I get in my head about it the more I think about those expectations and I think this is good life advice like you know the more you more you keep you get more you get, uh, get in your head about the expectations and the less you just think about doing the best job you can like like it's you know it's that that's the way to go about it i think i'm gonna have to up my game in terms of training i'm gonna figure out how to actually train like you know <laughs> it's not just a matter of reading wikipedia lists and like trying to memorize them because i know this because i was looking over uh, academy award winners this morning and i still totally blew that hurt locker question yeah. so it's really just about what you retain absolutely well best of luck in your next match we're really enjoying watching how you develop out there it's so cool watching new competitors come in and just kick ass right off the bat and um, like i said you're both of you put on such a great show and I can't wait to see what happens next. Well, thank you so much. It was fun. Back to you guys. All right, well, Rox, you see there, again, I know that you don't really like it when competitors are classy and there's not a lot of backstage drama. Nope, but not my thing. What's your, what, what's your read on Lightning Liz? How far can she go in the singles division? I think we saw today in this match she has more knowledge even than she is getting out there. You know, there's a one time where she, she knew the answer. She just couldn't get to Gary Busey quick enough. And as she's playing the game, I think we're going to just watch her get better and better. So I don't know what the limit is with her. She could end up being Rookie of the Year. It was a very well-played match, very classy match, and these two competitors, maybe they don't have a lot of trash talking back and forth, but there's a lot of persona personality there. Do you see a future in which either one of these is potentially managed by one of our, our big-time managerial types in the movie trivia showdown? Definitely. I know as, as a manager, we're always hawking out who are the people that we want to pick up, and I think that these were two really strong rookies, both of them. All right. Well, the league has been put on notice by both Lightning Liz and Diamond Dave. Lightning Liz getting the win today to push her record to 2-0. and oh. And I want to thank Roxy Stryer for joining me at the desk today. Roxy, thank you so much. Where can all the kids find you out there? Everywhere at Roxy Stryer. Thank you so much for having me. You know I'm a big fan of this league, and I was really excited to call this match today. And we are big fans of each and every one of y'all watching here today. Make sure you subscribe right here to the Movie Trivia Schmodown channel on YouTube. Check us out in audio form as well. And if you've not joined the Movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon, check it out and select which tier is right for you. For Roxy Stryer and Christian Harloff, I am merely Mark Baby Carrots Ellis, and we'll see you down the road here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Nowhere to run to, baby. Well, there you are, you louse, you fool. You fop. Bonjour, moron. Moron. Really? Yeah. That's oh. the best you got? That's the best one. You got nothing more? Yeah. Well, look what happened in Houston. You don't want to talk about that, do you? Hey, you know what happens in Houston? That's when my phoenix, my guy, rises above it all with the flames burning behind him, and he triumphs. There's only He's one greater thing. than ever before. Well, you know we only got one thing left to do. Hmm. Perhaps a fight to the death? No, you play the schmo down. The sh what do you know about? You can't run anymore. Uh, I'm a former you can't champion, son. Yeah, against, you have one person in the league. You lost to Jay Washington. You know what? Jay's a friend of mine. I got a little flustered. Mr. Navarro is, is, is... Navarro! He's retired. Why do you bring that up? He's retired. And that's why you got thrown into the, the closet. You know what? You had help. Remember? You had a team of five guys. Yeah, but you... And had, I lived. Yeah, but Six months I survived mistake, on my own. No, 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 with the, no Netflix. The big mistake you made was I originally no getting out of the horseman. Because now I'm in the horseman. You're not in the horseman. You've been kicked you out of You walk around in front of the horseman. They're one step away from trampling right over you. You saw what happened in Houston. It's terrible. You got a little piece of shat and just a toupee in your teeth. Mm. You mm. should get rid of it. Anyway, nowhere to run to. Martha and the bandits. Uh, nowhere to hide, son. Hey, man, Thunderdome got nothing on me, brah. Two men enter, one man leaves. That'll be me, yo.